Gina Rowlands is the classic Hollywood star who is outstanding thanks to her strong skeletal form and the curl of her wheat-gold Jackie-O coif. Rowlands is more than just an actor. She is a highly athletic performer who has dedicated herself wholeheartedly to her trade, her characters, and a fearless honesty in storytelling. She has been trained, tortured, and studied. Hollywood actresses may worry that their careers are over after they approach 40. However, Gina Rowlands achieved new artistic heights during this time in her life. As she approached middle age, Rowlands delivered some of the most memorable performances ever captured on camera. The word wonderful appears frequently in Gina Rowland's lexicon. She uses it to discuss the work of her late husband, John Cassavetes, who directed her in seven films, nearly all of which, like the devastating story of a disintegrating marriage, Faces, and the raw live wire of a familial drama, Love Streams, not only upended but exploded the paradigm of American filmmaking. She also worked with writers like Paddy Chayefsky, the scribe of the play Middle of the Night, which served as her breakout role. However, Roland is one of the most potent and emotionally skilled actors, living behind her fine-boned patrician looks and serene demeanour. The Wisconsin native has created psychologically complex and fully realised women on the periphery, such as the functioning alcoholic stage actress in Opening Night, who is about to give the performance of her life, the unsteady housewife Mabel Longetti in A Woman Under the Influence, and the tough-as-nails mob Moll in Gloria. Roland and Cassavet's personal and professional life complemented one another as a couple, Cassavetes frequently mortgaged their Hollywood Hills home to raise money for his independent films, and friends and family frequently appeared in his casts. Even in the couple's garage, Cassavetes edited the movie Shadows. Rollins is very casual about how their business relationship is going. She said, He did what he did, and I did what I thought. They were the indie power couple and collaborators before they were indies. She was equally skilled and radiantly attractive. She was also sympathetic, clever and artistic. He was a hot-blooded, attractive bachelor with a passion that bordered on lunacy and genius that was just waiting to be released. However, his and Roland's relationship wasn't always simple, just like the profound yet challenging partnerships that would come to function as a through-line to all his movies. Cassavetes was determined and independent while also being ferociously possessive and jealous. The one thing that stayed consistent throughout their whole relationship, both romantic and professional, was how different they were from one another in terms of taste and lifestyle. Whatever differences they may have had, they were drawn together and their connection was so intriguing, not because of what they believed or felt, but because of the many ways they might have expressed it. Click here to watch this video next.